Well, we're just so fortunate at Laurel Hill School because we're known as a community school and so many of the activities in our little town center around school. We have 450 students pre-K through grades 12 and that's been a pretty stable number over the last probably six or seven years. Uh, we certainly enjoy a lot of zoning waivers uh, at our school because we are a small setting pre-K through 12, the whole family can go here. It's a smaller, uh, more familiar setting for our students and some people have a preference for that. And we can offer a lot of technology with our new program with iPads that the district has granted us so that we are able to prepare our students for um, an electronic uh, environment when they graduate in co or go to college and careers. We are very fortunate that we have a lot of support from our community, that our parents are really caring and interested in their children getting a great education, and they support us, and they, um, the children know that their parents really want them to do their very best in school, and they support us in that also. Uh -huh. Baker School is the fifth largest school in Okaloosa County, uh, currently standing at about uh, 1,360 students. Uh, we've experienced over the last couple of years about a 2% uh, growth each year, 25 to 30 students, and that has uh, increased the need for us to expand our programs to, to accommodate students. and. Uh, prepare for those students. A lot of our growth has been at the elementary level, so in anticipation of those students uh, eventually moving to secondary, we're trying to grow our programs in secondary so we can uh, make sure that we have uh, adequate opportunities for those students as they enter their middle school and high school years. We have uh, several very active choice programs like culinary arts, uh, welding, information technology, and child care, uh, as well as uh, some programs in the area of math and science like our new uh, middle school STEM programs. We also have a very active uh, fine arts program in chorus and band and a, a large Army uh, Junior ROTC program. So we're, uh, we're feeling some small growing pains and uh, we're trying to uh, to grow our programs to accommodate the, the needs of those uh, incoming students. Well, Crestview High School has had a lot of growth due to the 7th Special Forces. We have uh, increased our student population. Uh, it's increased the numbers in our, all of our extracurricular programs, which is good. Uh, we are working to uh, add some more programs. We added honors programs this year to provide that middle level of, of courses for students that want to take higher level courses. Next year we are going back to being an ACE school, it's A-I-C-E, and that is from Cambridge University over in England, and those provide courses at which students get weighted credit and they can get college credit if they pass the test at the end. Very similar to the advanced placement or AP classes that we also offer. Um, we're offering some more classes in career and choice uh, type things. We're uh, hopefully going to have a cosmetology class next year and we're going back to the construction technology class that we used to have here and then uh, was dropped. So we're looking at offering not only some higher end courses but also some career type courses for our students to provide a lot more uh, options for them to have at Crestview High School.